Hi everyone. I wanted to do a fun little art project with you guys today using something that starts with the letter Y because that's the letter we've been learning about this week. So I found some yarn in one of my craft closets in my house and I thought that this might be a fun way to do a watercolor picture. So I cut some of the yarn, just a string of the yarn and I am going to, let's see, let me turn this down a little bit so you can see this better. I am going to just make a fun little design using the yarn on a piece of paper. Now this paper is thicker than regular paper that your mom or dad might have in their printer. This is called cardstock, and um, it's just better whenever you're using something like watercolors because it's um, gonna hold the paint better. So you can see I just made a little design. Do you see my puppies back there? <laughs> So now I'm going to take my watercolors and I am just going to fill in the spots where my yarn is. So I'm going to start here and I am just going to kind of trace the lines or trace around the lines. It's kind of tricky. Your yarn might move a little bit, but you can practice holding on to that paintbrush. And then I'm gonna rinse out my paint. I'm gonna to go to the next color that I would like. If you guys know what color this one is, I think you know. This one is going to be a blue color. And I'm just going to paint inside of the line that I have made using the yarn. And like I said, it's kind of tricky. Your yarn might want to move around a little bit, but that's okay. You can just move it back. I'm going to use this color. Let's see if you can see that. This is our color of the month for the month of April. Do you guys remember what that color was? It might look really, really dark on your end, but this is actually purple. I like this dark color purple. It's really pretty. So I'm just going to trace my yarn around the area of the yarn. I'm gonna rinse off my brush. Let's see, what's a color we haven't used? How about green? Let's use this green. I bet everyone has really pretty green grass right now. Have you been going outside to enjoy the, the nice weather and to play in your yards? Let's see, what else should we do? Um, I'm gonna use a light purple. right here. See my yarn moved a little bit. One way that you could do this without having your yarn move is if you have someone um, draw a line of glue and then you can trace that line of glue with the yarn. That would create a different type of effect than what I am going to show you, but um, this way, the way that I'm doing it is um, so that you can take the yarn off and get a really pretty picture. And so here I am just finishing up this little area and I'm gonna let this sit and dry. Now this one is a picture that I did a few minutes ago you can see I traced 
or painted within the, the lines of the yarn. And now what I'm going to do is take the yarn off and let's see what kind of effect we have. It looks really cool. It's just another fun way that you can use some paint or other tools that you have at home. I bet you probably haven't thought of using yarn to paint with. Another fun thing that you could do with some yarn would be to take another piece of paper and I'm gonna tilt this down again. A little bit more. Take a piece of paper. Um, I don't have very much paint at my house. I just have some watercolors here, so I'm gonna try and make do with what I've got. And I'm gonna take my yarn and I'm gonna stick it in my uh, cup of water. And this might be a little bit messy, but that's okay because that's what happens when we go to school, we get messy. And I'm just gonna stick it in my watercolors here. Do you see what color I'm using here? This is actually a pink. So now I'm gonna take my yarn and I'm gonna put it on my paper and I'm going to use my yarn to paint. I'm gonna wiggle it on my paper like a little worm and try to paint with it. I'm gonna get it wet again. I'm gonna stick it back in that same color cause I wanna make some more lines like that again. I'm gonna wiggle it on my paper. Oh yeah, this is much better. Okay, I'm gonna set that one to the side. I'm gonna cut off another piece of yarn just so that I don't mix up all of my watercolors. And what color should I dip this one in? Um, I'm thinking a darker blue. This one will be fun. This is almost like a purple blue. See, I dipped my red yarn into that paint. Now I'm going to, actually, I guess I'm gonna wet it a little bit more. This is like an experiment. Sometimes you have to try something and it might not work the first time, so then you have to try it again and hopefully it'll work. I think this will work this time. So I'm gonna take my little yarn and I'm going to wiggle it all around my paper again. Ooh, this is looking really cool. Let's see, how about one more color? Hmm. Maybe a nice sunny yellow. What do you think about that? I think that'll look pretty. Do you guys know what letter yellow starts with? Y, 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 yellow starts with the letter Y, just like the yarn. All right. Here's my yellow color. And I'm just gonna wiggle this all over the place too. So, as you can see here, I have shown you two different ways that you can paint with yarn. Let's see if you guys can think of some ways to paint at home too, and maybe you can share them with your teacher or share them on our Waypoint Preschool Facebook page so that everybody can see your beautiful artwork. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Bye.